Likely to come up before members of the New Mexico House Judiciary Committee is a bill named House Bill 428. It's legislation that would prohibit law enforcement from detaining or otherwise questioning a citizen based on ethnicity, national origin, sexual orientation, religion, or political affiliation. The bill is supported by the immigrant rights group Somos and Pueblo Unido. The group's Marcela Diaz spoke with us at the Roundhouse to explain why she thinks the law is needed. There are 22 states in the country that already have racial profiling bans or other bans on bias-based policing, and we think that it's time that New Mexico add itself to that list. We are a border state. Uh, We have a very large percentage of people of color in this state and other vulnerable minorities to either racial profiling or disparate treatment based on um, their race, their ethnicity, their sexual orientation, their nationality, uh, or their disability. And we get reports uh, from from all over the state where because a person is speaking Spanish or because a person uh, happens to be brown or Latino or may look uh, like a certain race or ethnicity gets asked about their immigration status, gets asked about uh, about their national origin, or just gets treated dif- differently because of those factors. And uh, it's certainly not, you know, it's, it's the minority. Most law enforcement officials don't engage in that kind of bias-based policing. But for those that do, we want to make sure that there's enough training for them, um, that there is a clear ban on the books, uh, and that police departments have to deal with this issue and uh, create written policies and procedures and get the training that they need to make sure that this doesn't happen. As for the likelihood of passage, Diaz says the effort cannot be taken for granted even though the bill has no discernible fiscal impact in this budget crunch year. Um, Obviously, constituents need to get involved uh, and to call their legislators and participate in these uh, discussions here at the State House. I know that in the last committee uh, meeting, it, it passed through handily and there were a lot of folks there who talked about their individual experiences with racial profiling or other forms of bias-based policing. Um, This should and and won't incur a request for funding for this. Um, uh, There are many police departments in the state that already have uh, some kind of directive or policy when it comes to this kind of uh, practice. And so, you know, if, if law enforcement officials aren't engaging in this, it shouldn't be a real big problem for them, and it shouldn't incur any additional costs. Diaz feels the law, while protecting civil liberties, would also foster a community-wide sense of safety. In addition to protecting people's civil rights, um, we want to make sure that a true partnership between communities and law enforcement can really begin to be fostered and to form. And when individuals feel, or when communities feel, like they are targeted uh, or treated differently based on these factors, that's just not good for community uh, and police relations, and it's not good for community safety as a whole. Marcela Diaz with the Immigrant Rights Group, Somos Un Pueblo Unido.